So guys, we're about to load the crocodile into the pond. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. So today is a huge day because we're actually in the Nile enclosure yep. of your favorite pair of Niles. Now, if you guys are guessing and probably what the title is going to be, we are moving them today. So Kyle, yeah. kind of give the backstory because we've done a video on the Niles before, but mm -hmm. let the people know kind of why these guys mean so much to you. Yeah, so these were actually the first crocodiles I had over, I mean, realistically eight feet. So these guys are, I believe, Ten and a half feet. I know Ryan and Christian will argue with me on that, but I believe they're ten and a half feet. Um, but yeah, so I got these guys shortly after I moved down in March of 2015. So I've had these guys for over five years now, and even though they have an awesome enclosure here, I'm so excited to get these guys in the new place and see how they utilize it, and definitely with the depth of the the new ponds as well. We actually ended up getting eggs from these guys this year. However, because their pond was a little shallow, we think that kind of led to the infertility of them, where the eggs just didn't get fertilized, even though she laid. So these new ponds are eight feet deep, which is going to allow perfect position for mating. Even so, though we don't, we don't need any more now. Because she laid <laughs> about 50 eggs, so yeah. same as a salt. If we had the same luck, we'd. There's gonna be a lot of crocodile eggs next year. We're gonna try not to hatch out any of them. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we got plenty of Nile babies. We got plenty of salty babies. There's no need for us to produce anymore. But even though these guys are gorgeous and their they babies are. are beautiful, they are. But again, these are the second largest crocodilian species in the world. These guys are no slouches. They get massive, and like I said, I mean, we're moving them from a 75 foot by 50 foot enclosure to a much bigger enclosure. So these guys do require or deserve a lot of space. And how about you walk us through your plan? I mean, you don't sure. want to get hands on with these guys today. We're getting a little yep. bit of rain, but also you want to make it less stressful. So yeah, so they have this big land area here. So we locked them in so they can't get to the water source. So what we're going to try to do is coax them into the crates and hopefully all goes well. Otherwise, then we'll put a rope on them and pull them in. But at least we don't have the water uh, to deal with because that's the biggest thing is once the crocodiles go in the water, it's a completely different story. So at least we have them here to easily move them if we have to. But first, let's try to get them in the crates. Yeah, and guys, that's what the plan is. Yes. When it comes to animals, especially large predators that like outweigh us five to one and strength wise, probably 10 to one, plans don't always go the way you want them to. So we'll mm -hmm. see kind of how this goes. I'm really interested to see how we yeah. do this today and get them in the crate. But let's see how the ketchup goes. We'll try it. Someone get back there. Get ready to shut that top. Unhinge it, Ryan. I, I'm ready. Yeah. Let me know when it drops. All right, guys, so obviously we didn't know if that was gonna work, but it did. We were able to get her in here without restraining her at all, grabbing it, putting any hands on her. Kyle, how do you feel? Cause you pretty much designed this and had yeah. this in your mind and yeah. it worked. You know, it's awesome to see because you know, a lot of people say we don't know what we're doing, you know, and obviously we can, <laughs> we can say, look, you know, we know what we're doing. It worked, but hey, I'm super happy they went in there unrestrained. She's locked up, ready to go to the new place. No ropes on her, no tape, nothing. All we have to do is open the door and let her go on her way. So guys, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make sure that we secure this box so she can't get out, move it onto the trailer and then reposition so we can go after the mail. But I think that was, that was probably as smooth <laughs> as it could have gone. So let's yes. see how the mail goes. <laughs> All right guys, so now we're gonna go get into catching the mail Nile. So catching, catching, securing, walking. We're taking for a walk. And if you haven't noticed, 
Christian's also here. Hey guys. We've got Haley. We've also got Chris behind me walking away. What's up guys? And out there is Julia and Allison. So we got everyone here today. This is more so not hands-on, so we don't really need everyone to be... Oh, hands, hands on, oh wait, hold on. Hands on. <laughs> the hands are on the crux. So we're not jumping them, so we don't technically need everyone in the enclosure. That's why there's only a couple of us. And then I'm actually standing in the path, the male, so we're gonna let him. Let's see if this works. I'm trying to stay in the bush. I am but a grasshopper observing all the wild cow. Crocodile cow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So guys, the male is actually, I think, catching on to our game. He saw his girlfriend get bo uh, boxed up. So he's just a little bit more timid. Also, he's a big boy. So he's uh, being a little lazy today too. He doesn't want to do too much if he's not being rewarded with food. So that's why you just saw Kyle give him actually one of the small rats, just to kind of give a little bit more of an incentive to make him know that he's going to get rewarded if he keeps coming. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Well, Kyle, what are your thoughts on the male? He's definitely uh, being a lot lazier. So I'm hoping we can at least get him as close as we can, possibly. So unfortunately, we're going to have to rope him. This guy is notorious for shutting down, and that is exactly what he did. He's, he's being a good boy. I mean, essentially, he just wants to go back to the water. He doesn't want to mess with us. He just wants to go and essentially get away from us and... Uh, Enjoy the water, and that's a safe space. So basically, you're gonna get the rope around him. Are you are you cutting me off? <laughs> well, I'm just helping you out. Yes. And then we're so gonna we, pull it through. We're gonna pull him through the crate, and then we're just gonna pop this off, and then essentially he's just gonna be like the female. So once we'll loosen this up, and then uh, send him on his way. All right. Well, let's see this uh, in action. All right, guys. So didn't go to plan like we uh, kind of anticipated. We do have him in the box though, so. I apologize for not getting that on film. Basically, what happened was he started taking off and we ended up having to jump him. Uh, but I set the GoPro down and didn't tell Julia, so I apologize, guys. Uh, we didn't, weren't able to get that film, like I said. But we do have him in the box and we are gonna be moving to the new property now, so. Jump out. Let's get him all secure and then, guys, we'll see you at the new property. Now, we've got the crocodile in the box. Uh, this is the male and we've got him hooked up to the excavator. What we're doing now, so as you're seeing, Kyle's lift, gonna lift the box up and over this fence and gently place him into the new enclosure. And that's where we'll be able to just open that box up and let him come out. So this is the reason that I built all this, getting this guy in this new environment. This guy is my favorite animal on the property and I'm super excited to get him in the water and see him swim at these crazy depths. So without further ado, let's get him in the water. Welcome to Jurassic Park, everybody. We got him sitting right there. We'll see if he, uh wants to go ahead and make his way out or Kyle you might have to open the top and give him a little yeah. tap well, as you can see guys he's sitting right there head facing the uh, exit and that's gonna lead into this beautiful pond so all this is right here for you so come on buddy come on out Okay, so now we have the female. She's ready to join her boyfriend in here. I mean, Kyle, you have the pair of Nile crocodiles that are yep. dear to your heart in the brand new enclosure that you spent five years building. Yes. So, it's exciting. very, very exciting. And obviously, 
you know, this is a stressful part of just moving them, catching them up, or when, in her case, just at least leading her into the crate. But yeah, because she was super it, nice. She walked yes. right in. The male yeah. other hand. So explain to them why we wanted to rush to get the male in first. Yes. Even though he was like exerting more energy. What yeah. does that mean? So we got her in just by her free will. So she just walked in. We shut her up. No stress involved whatsoever. Yeah. I and mean, we were feeding her. She walked in, ate, and we shut the doors. No stress. But the biggest thing is with crocodilians is lactic acid buildup. So obviously with us having to put a rope on around the, uh, the male, pulling him into the crate, um, catching him up, taping him, untaping him. I mean, there's a lot of process. There is for, for sure lactic acid buildup. And I've seen this guy, he definitely gets uh, stressed very easily if you mess with him. So that's the biggest reason as to why we had to just get him in the water because you know the quicker we get him in the water, now again, that's her, that's her comfort zone then they can settle down again. Well, I did just take a peek inside the crate and her mouth is right here. She's, oh yeah? She's smiling right at cool. me. Cool. All right, I'll lift it up. Let's see if she'll join the mail. And she's always much more apt to uh, work well with us, unlike the mail. Come on, girl. Oh. Right there. <laughs> She's still retained. Like 10 to. She's drunk. She's drunk. <laughs> She's for another direction. Well, we tried to get a measurement, but she had other plans. But now she's at least enjoying the pond. So I'm anxious to see them when they meet up again. If he. Uh, if he comes over to her or she goes over to him because they're very protective of each other so i'm excited to see how they interact after the big, big move yes, hope sir. you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to like comment subscribe follow us on instagram at permanent predators and we'll see you on the next one